Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about one of the most important hooks in React called use effect. If you're not using classes in your project and if you're using hooks, which means you don't have access to all the lifecycle methods that classes brings, you know, the component did mount, component did update, and all of those, uh, they are not available to you, which means you have to use something else. And use effect and a couple of other hooks uh, would do the same thing but a little differently. So first, we're going to look at how it's replacing all those lifecycle methods. And the second, we're going to look at a clean, nice example of use effect. By the way, I just noticed that if you use all caps here, then I see too many E's and F's in use effect. Nothing important, just an observation. <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome to Texia Tutorials. So let's quickly look at which lifecycle methods React hook uh, use effect is replacing. So this is the one version just before the, the hooks were introduced because there were multiple revisions of lifecycle hooks and this is uh, the one before, I think it's 16.6 version of it. Uh, but that's not important. So the important is if you look at there are the three phases, mounting, updating, and unmounting. This is mounting means the first time when component is loaded, that's called mounting. After that is if the component goes through lifecycle, which means when you update the states and props and all that stuff, and then comp component updates itself. So that's called updating. And unmounting is when the component actually unmounts. Basically, this would be like a birth, this would be life, and this is the death of the component. And again, here there are multiple uh, lifecycle methods, but the one in the green, this is the one that use effect is replacing. And use effect means manage the side effects in your component. And what does a side effect really mean? Side effect means, side effects mean whenever you do something that affects the state of the component, that is side effect. That's, that's why they call the hook use effect. And actually there are three hooks. One is use effect, Second is use layout effect, which is kind of like use effect, but does a little bit differently. And the th third is use memo. So this particular uh, lifecycle method called should component update, that is replaced with use memo. And the lifecycle method that is not being replaced, and there is no solution right now as of today, maybe by the time you know you watch the video in, another year, maybe there's a solution for it. Uh, but this is the lifecycle hook, get snapshot before update. This is rarely used and there is no current solution in hooks, but I'm sure uh, React community is working on it and they would do something about it. Okay, so let's look at an example. And we're gonna take a look at a very simple example to look at all the component life cycles. So let's treat our component as a child, okay, that is born and is gonna live and it's gonna eventually die. So we are going to create this small component. And let's use our use state. And another hook we're gonna use is use effect. Let's create a simple state. We're gonna call it growth. So I can say const growth and set growth equal to use state and we're gonna start with zero. Let's consider this as an age. And so when you were born, you're age zero. So the growth is actually zero. Okay, so here we can give our title H2 call use effect. And so I have the title here. Now let's add the growth. Let's say H3 and we can say uh, growth. And we can actually give a, a little label here. Okay, so the growth is zero right now, and it's pretty simple. So now when the component is born, we can check when the component is first time mounted, which is when the component is born. So we can use that use effect to figure it out when it was born. So I would say use effect. And unlike use state, which has this signature, use effect has completely different signature. Use effect is a function which accepts a callback function and that gets run when 
the component is either mounted uh, first time or updated uh, and it depends on a second parameter if I pass an empty array that means the component is mounted for the first time the component is born so all I have to do here is console log I am born okay so let's see if I inspect it the console log says I am born and it only runs one time when the component is born okay now this component has to live its life which mean has to grow so how can we make it grow we can have a button let's have a button which which will say learn and grow okay and it looks something like this when I click on it nothing happens let's add an event here on click event which would have a handle we can call it grow handle and let's define that so our handle is nothing but a function so I can say grow handle and inside I uh, would we'll do simply do th this set, gr set growth and let's take growth plus 10 uh, we don't want to grow this component by one we want to <laughs> at least grow growing faster so he will he or she will grow 10 years at a time when I click on it okay so now if I click on it it grows really fast but this point is 210 years old but again if I inspect it and look at its life cycle even if I click here it doesn't really uh, run again this one because this is this effect because I provided an empty array here which means it only runs right after it's mounted for the first time what if I want to run something off on the update so every time I click on it the component gets remounted or updated and at that point I want to uh, console log say hey I am learning so the good thing about use effect you can use it multiple times unlike the class lifecycle methods you have only one lifecycle so let's say if I have a component did mount there's only one component did mount and you have to manage everything inside with hooks I can have multiple hooks so this runs on the first render and I can use it again and I can say console log make mistake and learn so basically it's growing and remember this time I'm not providing this empty array argument which means this should now run on initial mount and also every update so let's look at it so if I run it it says I'm, I am born and it also runs make mistake and learn because uh, this one runs on mounting and update this one only runs on mounting and now if I click on it it as you can see it runs again 8 9 10 but what if I don't want this to run on the initial mount so we can actually create a variable here let's create it called born equal to false we can say once it's born then only do this right and here inside the the second one the first time when this runs I want to check if born is true if born is true which means it's been born then only run this because it, need, it needs to be born before it learns right and then I can say okay if it's not born then born equal to true and now if I run this first time it says I am born and then when I click on it it grows so now this only runs the first mount and this runs after that on every update now let's do something else uh, what I want to do is in this case I can just click 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 in and it keeps growing but I don't wanna I don't like this I want it to stop growing at some point and achieve Nirvana because remember when you get older at some point you have to you have to be mature so let's decide an age where this component gets mature and after after that it stops learning and it it attains nirvana okay so we're gonna have another state here call const nirvana and I can set the nirvana equal to use state and when you when you start with you haven't achieved nirvana because you're not even born so 
we set it as false. And then this runs the first time, so we don't we don't worry about it. After that, this runs every update. So we can check here if if the growth is now greater than 70, then we need to say, okay, now let's set some nirvana. So this component is now mature and it should stop growing. And once the nirvana is attained, I want the document title here to to say that uh, the nirvana has been attained. So uh, I can now when should that happen? We already know that this runs the first time. This runs every time, uh, but I want another uh, use effect, which runs only when the nirvana is attained. Let's uh, add another use effect. And as you can see, use effect is so cool that you can actually do so many different use effect uh, to achieve whatever you want. Okay, we wanna make sure it's born because without it's being born, we can't really achieve nirvana. And if it's born, then I can say document dot title equal to nirvana attained. Okay, so you must be wondering, okay, what is the difference between this one and this one? Well, there's no difference right now. So we want to make a difference. We want to say, okay, once Nirwan is attained, then only update this. So remember, here we're not passing any argument, which means running every time. This one has an empty argument, which means run the first time. We can do something else as well. Say, whenever Nirwana changes, at that time, I want the title to say Nirwana attained. That's why I'm putting born here, because first time uh, Nirwana is set to false it will run this and we don't want that that's why i want i want it to born and then change it okay so now if i restart it and it will grow so it's zero ten, it becomes 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and after this the nirvana is attained and now it would say nirvana attained also uh, let's do something else uh, before you grow again, you want to do some cleaning up, right? Uh, because you have made some mistake because you're learning, so you need to clean up. So here inside the use effect, it will uh, return a function called return a function call. And inside I can say console log clean up after mistakes okay so when I initially run this it's born then when I click on it first it cleans up after the mistake and then it makes a mist new mistake cleans up after the mistake and it makes a new mistake because you are learning you're making mistake you clean up and then you make a new mistake and that's how you grow Again, this was a very simple example, but this gives you an idea how use state really works and how component lifecycle works. That's it, folks. And I hope you learned something new from this video. And if you did, please like. Don't forget to like. It just takes only a few seconds. Uh, like, provide a nice comment, and subscribe. And you can translate this video for me. Uh, the information is in the description. And you can also follow me so to, on my Facebook. So this React Learning Group and TechSet Group is designed for that. So you can ask questions on your project. Hey, I'm stuck. I'm getting this error. I don't know what UI framework to use. Uh, all kind of questions you can ask and get the answer. You can also help me on Patreon. And also, if you want merchandise, I am putting a TechSet store on Teespring where I have cute t-shirts just in case if you need it. It may not be available on all the countries, but if it's available, then you can purchase it. Uh, also, you can learn more. Uh, so my Udemy JS Masterclass course, uh, I'm providing a coupon code here with TechSet-9.99. That would allow you to get this course for nine, uh, by $10, basically. And if this coupon is expired, when you try to get it, uh, just uh, go to the description of my YouTube channel. I'll provide the latest code there as well. And thank you.